Man, the hunting genre has sure come a long way since Monster Hunter created it in 2004. Well, actually, was Monster Hunter the first hunting game? Let's take a look back at some of the most influential games in the hunting genre. So this is a game called Deer Hunter, the interactive experience, and really, it's one of the first in the genre. All right, let's find some bucks. Oh, that sound brings back so many memories. Now I know what you're probably thinking, I had to go back to the Stone Age to find something like this, but this game actually released in 1997. I was about seven years old, and even I could tell that this game didn't look nearly as good as other games like Hexen or Quake, which released in 95 and 96 respectively. Gameplay is fairly simple, you're stuck in what I assume is a tree stand, and you have to lure animals close to you so you can shoot them with either a rifle, a shotgun, or a bow. As you can see, the options are very limited. There are a few tools as well, like this deer call and some rattling horns. But good luck finding a deer because this game is basically sheer luck. This game was a pain in the ass to get working. It wouldn't run on my machine, it wouldn't run on my virtual machine of XP, but it would run on my 32-bit tablet. So I tried to remote connect to it, and I thought that was going to work, but of course it didn't. So I had to use TeamViewer to record this. And even then, it's basically unplayable. I did manage to shoot this 8 point though, which is kind of cool, I guess. Look at how pixelated that deer is. Unfortunately, this game has not aged very well for all the hassle that you have to go through to even play it. Plus, it's very authentic, which by that I mean it's basically as exciting as sitting in a tree for 8 hours. There were also a slew of expansions for this game that had a ton of new tools and weapons, but I wasn't able to really find them, and to be honest, I don't think they would work on this computer. However, there are a lot of games in this series right now. All the recent ones are on mobile, which I'm totally not about, so let's hit up some of the sequels that are still on PC and see how they compare to the original. With a subtitle like The Legend Continues, we must have really made an impression on the hunting genre with the first two games. This may be the very first hunting game to really take the whole experience into 3D, and wow, this is like one of the worst games I've ever played, but it runs natively on my computer, so I got that going for me, I guess. This is from the area where 3D games just started to be the cool thing to do, so obviously what I'm trying to say is that this game looks like shit. I mean, look at this hunter. What the hell is wrong with his back? It looks like he crawled out of a mangrove swamp. This is more a hunting simulation than anything. You have to go into the wilderness out of season to try to find markings that you can tag. And then during hunting seasons, you have to go out and hunt something down. It's hard as hell. And it's just not very fun. The controls are rough too. To enable mouse look, you have to click on this look button. Otherwise, you'll be interacting with the UI. I couldn't find any deer, so this is legitimately just a walking simulator. Well, I guess that might not be entirely true because there are vehicles in this game, which really surprised me. And you know what I love? Wacky vehicle physics. There's also another relic in this game from the bygone era. Cheat codes, I love cheat codes. I remember having those big books called 1001 Cheat Codes, going on websites like Cheat Planet and finding button combinations to break the game. Well, Deer Hunter 3 has cheat codes. In fact, it's the only way I could get a deer because I'm awful. This code warps me to a deer and makes them not run away. It's Deer Cheater 3. Perhaps the biggest innovation came not from within the home, but outside. To really get the hunting experience, to really feel like a hunter, you have to become the hunter. And there's no better place to immerse yourself than in the local arcade. Fortunately, I don't have an arcade cabinet in my house, but you can imagine how excited I was when I saw this on Steam. This reminds me of that episode of King of the Hill where Bobby goes hunting and finds himself in front of a bunch of deer and he's told to shoot one. This isn't right, is it, Dad? No, it isn't, son. You're god dang right, Bobby. This hunting game is so on rails, Virtual Cop is jealous. The levels fly right on by and the aiming is kind of rough with the mouse. There's just no variety. You shoot these deer, you see where you shoot them, and then the level's over. That's it. Sometimes you get attacked by a cat, or a bear, or a wolf, or a koopa. These kinds of games are only fun in arcades with a plastic shotgun. Using a mouse just does not do it justice. Yeah, 
You know, after watching the trailer for this Cabela's game, I was expecting Call of Duty with animals, especially since it's such a huge brand like Cabela's. Hell, in the intro, there's a guy that clearly poaches an animal. Smokey. But contrary to my initial reaction, this is actually a really fun game. It's arcadey to a point, but there's also some depth with the inventory, the way your scent travels, and the animal AI. The maps are a good size and you can purchase all manner of different weapons, ammunitions, and gear to take along with you. My favorite part happens right when you fire your gun. Look at this though. It's like Sniper Elite Wildlife Edition. Depending on where you hit your prey, they may keel over in the case of a headshot, they might take a couple of steps and drop, or they might just bolt off and you have to track their blood trail. I have a habit of trying to make multiple shots on a running target, but it's harder than it looks. This is a solid game, surprisingly. But for real though, this is one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. My dad bought this game on the Wii years back, and it came with a gun prop for the Wii Mote. But I'm playing the PC demo here, probably about five or six years later. This game is essentially Call of Duty, but instead of shooting terrorists and, you know, things that should be shot, you're shooting wild animals. Innocent wild animals. I knew it was bad when I played my father's copy of it, but I never actually knew how bad. There's no free hunt mode, it's just a story where you play some schmuck with a creepy voice, shooting endangered animals. The animals disappear probably after a second after you shoot them. You have a ton of ammo, the AI just beelines straight towards you despite the game boasting about some advanced prowler AI. This is just all around a mess and I feel so dirty for playing it. Like, the demo puts you in Africa, right? You go through shooting cheetahs that jump from trees, lions that never stop spawning, and some random-ass alligators that pop up out of a swamp. And the so-called boss of the level? It, it's a hippo. It's complete bullshit because it's the quickest quick-time event in any video game, and you're supposed to roll to the side, but I can never tell what direction this bastard is coming from. This is bad. Don't play this game. Please don't. Just stay away. The Hunter, Call of the Wild. This looks kind of promising. Look at these vistas. Look at these graphics. Look at how it's not a 100% poaching simulator. Smokey. This game is kind of cool. I guess it's like the single player version of the MMO on Steam. This one is on Steam as well for 30 US dollars and you have to really play patiently. You can't just run in and shoot because you won't find anything that way. Instead, you'll just get a bunch of warning calls and the animals will run away like normal animals. There are only two maps, one of them is my homeland of the Pacific Northwest, so that's obviously what I picked. These maps are gigantic, they're huge, and they're full of wildlife, you could easily get lost in here. As of right now, I've played the game for a few hours, but I'm not entirely sure how to play it, if that makes sense. I've poached a few things, including deer and even a bear, and I even made a crack shot at this bird. but I totally didn't get credit for the bird because it disappeared. Pretty sure it just fell to the ground because I looked all over, couldn't find the corpse. Anyway, I'm not sure how to purchase new gear or if there are missions or what. It kind of seems like it's a giant shooting sandbox with creatures that don't fight back for the most part. There are perks and stuff that you could upgrade as you level up, but dang it, I expected to be able to have more equipment available to me right at the beginning of the game. It's pretty, but I'm having some trouble getting into it. The last game I'd like to cover is a little title called Deer Avenger. This is a parody series that released alongside Deer Hunter. I played these briefly in my youth. I think I've played the fourth game in this series, so let's go back to that one. You play as a deer named Bambo. It's like Rambo, but you know, it's a deer. <laughs> and you have to hunt these rednecks. Rather than rattling horns and scent to cover your tracks, you can toss hot dogs, baked beans, and tell awful jokes to lure humans to your location. Does anyone know Donald Trump? He left his wallet here. I didn't really play this game for too long because it has not aged well. The controls use the arrow keys instead of WASD and the draw distance was absolutely garbage. Plus when I found a human, I got killed in two hits. That is kind of enough to test my patience. Thanks for coming with me on this journey through history and allowing me to relive some of these games from my childhood. I hope you all have a wonderful April 1st. 
and make sure you leave your opinion below. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing to my channel and following me on Twitter and all those social media feeds. I'll see you later. Peace.